Hello Grade 12s and welcome to the Answer Series Life Sciences videos based on our study guides. If you don't have our Grade 12 Life Sciences books, Parts 1 and 2, you'll still be able to follow these lessons. In this video we focus on the third theory of evolution, punctuated equilibrium. It is the last evolutionary theory we study of the three different theories of development in this series. Scientists made three main observations when studying the natural environment. They observed the enormous biodiversity of all living organisms. They also observed adaptations of all organisms to their particular environment and the continuous changes that occur in each environment. We covered Lamarck and his theories in an earlier video. Then we looked at Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution by natural selection, including gradualism. In this video, we focus on the more recent theory of punctuated equilibrium by Stephen Jay Gould and Niles Edridge. They work together on this theory to explain the sudden appearances of species in the fossil record. Darwin's idea of gradualism in his theory of evolution involved slow changes over long periods of time and predicted transitional fossils in between before the appearance of each new species. Evidence from the fossil record, however, does not always support this idea. Transitional fossils are often rare, considering the enormous number of species evident in the fossil record, whether it's extinct past species or extant present species. The lack of transitional fossils led Gould and Aldridge to propose their theory of punctuated equilibrium to explain the fossil record. Their theory followed 100 to 150 years after Lamarck and Darwin's theories. Their theory explained sudden appearances of species with rapid changes. That's the punctuated bit, a little bit like a punctuation mark that indicates a pause, followed by long periods of time with no change. That's the equilibrium part or the stasis part. So in this theory, we have short periods of rapid change. So short periods of rapid change. This is where speciation occurs, rapid speciation. And this is known as the punctuated part of the punctuated equilibrium theory. Then we have long periods of no change where the species remain unchanged, largely unchanged. And this is called stasis or equilibrium. Stasis from the word stationary, which means not moving, no change, fixed. Punctuated equilibrium attempts to explain the typical pattern of fossils discovered in the fossil record where the younger and older fossils are often very similar to each other. Theory for the gaps. Darwin's gradualism shows small, slow changes over long periods of time with transitional fossils in between, showing the nature of the gradual changes from species to species. Transitional forms are predicted before each speciation event. Starting from the original simple organism that undergoes small changes over time, becoming more and more different to form eventually a more recent, more complex species in the younger, more recent layers of the rock strata. Gould and Aldridge's punctuated equilibrium model, however, shows rapid changes to form new species and then no change for long periods of time. So rapid changes from the simple organism to form a sudden appearance of a fully formed species and then long periods of stasis or equilibrium where there are no changes across many rock layers or strata. The stasis equilibrium period is proposed as Gould and Aldridge found that most fossils appear in the fossil record and disappear largely unchanged. They are stable across long time periods and easily recognized as the same organism, for example, trilobites. The sudden appearance idea is proposed because they found most species in the fossil record appeared all at once and fully formed, not in stages of transformation. Gould and Aldridge proposed that fossil species either did not adapt or died out, became extinct, 
or they experienced multiple favorable mutations that gave them an advantage and allowed them to adapt and survive in the new environment. These rapid adaptations led to sudden speciation, formation of new species. Gould and Aldridge questioned Darwin's gradualism in the evolution of organisms like trilobites, which were the focus of some of their studies. Trilobites changed minimally over many periods of time. They didn't evolve into different animal groups, but disappeared in the fossil record still recognizable as trilobites, despite millions of years of evolution. Some scientists query Gould and Aldridge's theory, as most known mutations are harmful, and this theory requires many favorable mutations at a very early stage of development, without those mutations being a disadvantage to the organism. Living fossils are species found in the fossil record and thought extinct for hundreds of millions of years and then discovered alive in modern times relatively unchanged. Living fossils provide evidence to support Gould and Aldridge's theory of punctuated equilibrium as there's little difference between the extinct fossil form and the living form. Examples of living fossils include corals and cockroaches and crabs like the horseshoe crab, which is considered the modern descendant of trilobites, crocodiles, the cassowary, which is the second largest living bird up to two meters tall, and the coelacanth. A South African scientist discovered the first recorded living species caught off our coasts in the 1930s. Also, many other insects trapped in amber are identical to their modern descendants. Some bacteria living today are identical to their fossils considered millions of years old. If we look at punctuated equilibrium compared to gradualism, we'll recap this illustrated in the evolution of these hypothetical mice. The main difference between punctuated equilibrium and gradualism is the absence of transitional fossils in the fossil record. These fossils mark the slow transformation between species in gradualism. So gradualism involves slow changes from the gray original species through mutations that eventually cause patches of color in a transitional form to the point of speciation and different species evolving, including darker varieties that survive as they are better adapted to their environment and lighter varieties that survive as they are better adapted to their particular environment. Punctuated equilibrium, on the other hand, involves sudden appearances of new species with rapid speciation and then long periods of no change, which is stasis or equilibrium. You can see the original species remains the same over long periods of time. Gould and Aldridge noted that all major animal body plans of complex animals suddenly appeared all at once in the fossil record, in the first period of the geological scale known as the Cambrian period. This burst of species is known as the Cambrian explosion, where fossils of every major animal phylum appeared fully formed with little or no evidence of evolutionary ancestors or transitional fossils in earlier layers. The majority of these groups died out and the survivors formed the species we see on our planet today. This Cambrian explosion phenomenon serves as evidence to support the theory of punctuated equilibrium. If we compare punctuated equilibrium and gradualism, we'll see some differences. Punctuated equilibrium has a rapid process, whereas gradualism is very slow. There's a sudden appearance of species. There are transitional fossils. There is a longer stasis or equilibrium period of no change. There's a shorter equilibrium period. Rapid speciation occurs, including geographic isolation, which speeds up speciation, big changes that cause speciation, whereas small changes accumulate in gradualism for speciation. Rapid changes, gradual changes. Change over a few generations, change over many generations. Similarities between these processes include both are evolutionary processes, 
Both involve change over time and both include long periods of little change. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.